Hello, right back again for another test and as you can probably hear in the background another typical crap day in the UK. Um, pretty wet, blowy, miserable, cold and um, yeah winter certainly appears to be on the horizon now. And um, But anyway I've got some nice pods to try. Um, these are from Terry at the Kano Chili Farm. I think I might have showed them briefly at the end of the last video. But this is the Ahi Umba. Now, this is pretty cool, pods look nice, um, I believe when they're fully, well I believe these are fully ripe, they go, kind of go orangey red when they're fully ripe, but they also go through like a yellow and a yellowy orange stage as well, uh, but yeah these are like, you know, pretty much fully ripe, and um, yeah they look pretty awesome, this will be the first ahi variety I've tried that's actually a chinense, and these are supposed to be pretty hot, they're supposed to be up around the sort of habanero level. So it'll be interesting, interesting just to see what sort of a burn it gives because habaneros kill me. Even though I eat supers all the time, the habanero burn is just one that really gets me bad. Um, I'm just going to chop it open and have a little look inside because if I like this variety, I might well grow it next year. Oh, okay, so it's got kind of yeah, sort of a habanero -y chinense looking interior. Quite a bit of placenta. It doesn't smell quite as strong as the super hots, but it's got a kind of sweet and fruity kind of aroma coming off it. Um, yeah, it smells kind of yeah, a little bit similar to like an orange habanero sort of smell. Um, yeah, it smells pretty pleasant. Just going to dig a few seeds out. A few um, black looking seeds in here which um, obviously aren't going to be very viable but well, some of the others look okay. Um, yeah it's fairly thick thick um, skinned wall so it's like um, yeah it looks very similar to kind of a habanero really inside. Um, right this will be interesting let's see if it burns like a habanero as well. So this is the ahi or aji umba. <laughs> yeah, that's got a good kick to it. Wow. <laughs> Taste was um not quite as sweet and fruity as like an orange habanero, but borderline heading down that route. A little bit more savoury. Um, yeah, like a savoury orange hab, I would say really kind of thick skin, um, quite chunky to chew on, a lot of pod to swallow. Wow, it's given a good good whack in the mouth. I'm sure the hiccups gonna start in a minute. Ah. Wow the mouth is really really throbbing with heat. It's on the top of my tongue, all around the inside of my lips. <clears throat> it's not really gone into the throat much at all though. I can kind of just feel a little trail where it's heading down. But I'm not sure how much worse it's going to get. I've got a feeling it's going to have a distinct habanero type burn. So it's back, it's right there. And then it doesn't really get any worse after that. This certainly seems to be kind of very similar. In fact, I don't think I'm even going to get the hiccups. I thought they were going to come. It was kind of borderline. But no, there's not going to be any hiccups. And although the heat hasn't died at all, 
weathered really bad. Um, yeah, although it's not died off, it's it's not got any worse. It's not risen to any sort of great level. Um, I'm not even sure if it's as hot as like a standard habanero. Maybe. My tolerance is probably quite high after eating all the supers recently, so it's a bit hard to tell, but yeah, maybe maybe kind of 150 to 200,000 scale units that one. Certainly got got that you know painful stinging type burn like the Habs give you. It's um it's really quite painful on the top of my tongue. The top of my tongue feels sore if I press it against the roof of my mouth. So yeah, it's got got um you know it's got a bit of heat left. Left quite a um, fruity taste in the mouth, actually. The aftertaste is sweeter and fruitier than the taste when you're actually eating it. Yeah, I thought it was going to taste a bit sweeter than that. It actually um, it was pretty savoury to start with, but still quite pleasant. And um, yeah, quite a good burn. I can now feel it. I feel it kind of this sort of area. Skip the throat, the throat's fine. Um, yeah, awesome. So that's a bit of an unusual one. I don't know how many other Ahi varieties are in the Chinense family, but that's certainly the first one I tried. And um, yeah, it's pretty it's a pretty cool, pretty cool part. Nice manageable heat level. And um, Maybe I'll know one of it anyway. Yeah, ideal. Right. I think that's about it. Thanks to Terry for um, the Ahi Umba to try. And um, I'm going to get inside now because the weather's just awful out here. And um, yeah, that's about it. Right, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again soon.